today's off to a great start, and I'm excited about this growth point as we open God's Word together and gain wisdom from the book of Proverbs. And uh, today we're going to finish Proverbs 3, one of the uh, real helpful passages in my life, and I hope in your life as well. And so we're going to read today, beginning in Proverbs 3 and verse number 27. The Bible says, Withhold not good from them to whom it is due when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give, when thou hast it by thee. Devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth surely and securely by thee. Strive not with a man without cause, if he hath done no harm. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the forward is abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Well, there's a lot here in this passage, and it really begins with the theme of make me a blessing. I don't know if you remember that song when you were younger, uh, that hymn, Make Me a Blessing and Help Me uh, to Be a Blessing to Someone Today. And the Bible speaks to this issue uh, when it tells us that we're not to withhold a blessing from someone when it is within our power to be a blessing to them. Uh, you know, uh, God has blessed all of us and the reason that he's blessed us is really that we might be a blessing. And I want to challenge you with that simple thought today. Who can you bless today? And the scriptures ask the, uh, tell us the commandment, withhold not good from them to whom it is due. And a lot of times we have a higher standard on others than we do for our own selves. And truth be told, uh, most of those around you at work and in your family, they deserve a blessing today. Um, the Bible teaches us not to miss opportunity to be a blessing. In verse 28, it says, Say not unto thy neighbor, go and come again, and tomorrow I will give. <laughs> I know a lot of Baptists that are that way. And we're always going to get to something tomorrow. We're always going to be a blessing to someone tomorrow. Uh, but the Bible teaches us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 14, Now we exhort you, brethren, uh, warn them that are unruly, comfort the weak, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men, see that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. God wants us to render good uh, when it is at hand, in our hand to do it. And whether that be a neighbor, a family member, a friend, I want to encourage you to pray, Lord, make me a blessing to someone today. It might be your employer. James tells us that uh, we are to labor uh, faithfully, James 5, 4. It might be the needy, Ephesians 4, 28 says, let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, uh, that thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. God says, our goal should be whenever we get that we can give to someone else who's in their time of need. And of course, I think of the unsaved. The greatest way to be a blessing to another man is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with that man and uh, to let, th let that man know that Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except by him. And so I want to encourage you today to ask the Lord to make you a blessing in someone's life. And then the Bible tells us in verse 29, devise not evil against thy neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by thee, strive not with a man without cause, if he hath done thee no harm. We live in a world that is striving all the time, one person against another. And uh, I really think about uh, a lot of what we see right now with respect to uh, people blocking roads and people just hitting other people for no reason. And, and this is the behavior of the world, just constantly striving against others. And the Bible tells us to refuse that. Ephesians, or rather Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 15 says, looking diligently, lest any root of bitterness spring up in you, and thereby many be defiled. You know, a lot of times there's bitterness in our lives and it's unchecked and we're not really aware of it till some stressful situation comes. And, and God's word is really commanding us here that 
We're not to strive without a cause and if someone has done us no harm. And even when someone has done us harm, we should seek peace and reconciliation uh, with that person. And then it, it tells us here not to strive meaninglessly uh, uh, with someone, meaninglessly meaning without cause. And so uh, be careful today to be on the side of being a blessing rather than just seeking uh, whom you might uh, fight against or strive against. I see a lot of times uh, so many people in religious circles trying to correct someone in this way or that way. Uh, frankly, all of us are going to stand before the Lord for our own accounts. And uh, while there are some responsibilities we have, maybe as a pastor or a parent, in reality, uh, we need to check our own lives and our own congregations before we start trying to straighten out everybody else's. And so be careful of striving unnecessarily. And then the Bible says in verse 31, Envy thou not the oppressor and shoes none of his ways. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, we might uh, see uh, someone that is an oppressor and we might think, well, that's the way to get my way is to just play hardball, just to be an oppressive person, just to make it hard on everyone else. And the Bible says, don't envy the person that's like that and don't try to be like that type of person. Uh, don't be someone that has a quarrelsome spirit, a litigious spirit, always uh, challenging that you're going to get your way or get your attorney. We hear people say that all the time. The Bible says in verse 32, the forward is an abomination to the Lord. Uh, these people that are shaking their fist always and angry, God says, that's an abomination to me. And uh, it says, his secret is with the righteous. Uh, God is looking for those that walk rightly. He wants to bless them. Uh, the old English here for the word forward means crooked or twisted. And, uh, and this is not the way of a godly man. Uh, the godly man is not to seek after things that are crooked or twisted, but he's to walk faithfully as a peacemaker would walk. Then verse 33 says, the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Uh, this reminds us that God blesses the humble. God blesses those that walk faithfully before him. Verse 34 says, Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. There's a lot of scorning going on today. People are scorning the Lord, his word, his, his people. But God says, uh, I'll take care of the scorners. You just walk humbly before me and I'll bless you in this day. And then finally, the wise shall inherit glory, but the shame, the shame shall be the promotion of fools. You know, there's so much promoting of foolishness in our world today and, and uh, people that are uh, siding with foolish causes and issues. And God says, you know, it's the wise. It's those who walk in wisdom and the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's those who know and love the Lord who will inherit his blessing and his glory ultimately. And uh, that all begins with humbling ourselves. And if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as your savior, the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it takes humility to admit that we fall short and then to come before the Lord and to repent before him humbly and to confess that we are sinners. And when we humble ourselves, the Bible says he will forgive us of our sin and he will wash away our sin and we will inherit glory. We will have a home in heaven because of the gift of God, which is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's where the wisdom begins, with the Lord, and I pray you'll walk in wisdom throughout this day today. God bless you.